All right, guys, Anthony here, Super Service. I have Nick's truck here. Look at that, another 100,000 miler. Right. Oh, hey, what's up? 103,000 miles. This is 06. I guess just runs bad. Let's do a diag here. Hang on. There you go. 06, 103,000 miles. Okay, we don't really have nothing for codes. ABS. I don't think I've seen a truck yet that doesn't have a transfer code. His circuit codes. Damn, you can't see none of that. Wow. No codes, no contribution balance codes, so let's open the data logger. Hang on. All right, it's as cold as a cold start as we're going to get today. It's 93 degrees out, 87 on the oil and coolant. Let's, uh, battery volts are right at 12, hair low, but what we're going to do, see if I can show you this. Wow, it's like not coming up. Hang on. Okay, IPR at the bottom, same thing, pick them at the top. Let's kick it off. Kick it on, I know it's really hard to see. Here we go. All right, right up. Okay, let's go power balance. Ridiculously hard. Oh, wait. Hey, there you go. Not bad. Two. Showing a hair low. Hang on. Bear with me here. I'm moving. It's freaking hot in here. Injectors appear to be all right. I wonder if it just doesn't have any boost or let's warm it up and go for a drive. So hang on. Holy crap. You got some tires on here, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, just gave a little acceleration. Look at number two dropping pretty hard under acceleration. Can you see that? All right, let's show this. Here we go. bet there's probably a track bar issue going on with this truck wouldn't doubt it uh, it's pretty loud it's got some mud tires on it look at four yeah I mean it'll run completely different when we get rid of two four and six we're kind of showing a little bit of lowness too but I think we got some track bar issue. We'll get underneath it. Look, hang on. Actually, with how this thing is driving right now, I would guarantee it's got a track bar issue. I mean, I guarantee it. I bet you we pull it in. It's who knows if it's the ball joint side or the bushing side. Who knows? But the injectors, I mean, two, four, and six. Two is the worst, but four and six are both showing their own little signs of. And I know it's hard to see. The sun is bright out here. Uh, watch it. I don't know if you can see number four dropping every now and then. So does number six. Which is funny how we get lucky like that, that it's just one side. I mean, granted, I'm too high in RPMs to accurately tested but you can see the history line on number two so bare minimum i mean go in and change number two but look at the history line on number six might be a little shaky to see but it's uh 
It's a hell of a lot lower than the rest of them. So, I mean, preemptively, I'm seeing number two, number six, possibly number four in a track bar. But let me get it back to the shop. Hang on. I heard a little bit of noise on Tim's truck, which is probably end links or something like that. But this, this truck is uh, borderline dangerous with this track bar like this. Uh, so, yeah, hang on. All right, guys, check that out. I like that. That's nice. I mean, won't fall down or nothing. I kind of like that. Might have to start making them. Got DC power on it. Yeah. So, but well, we're we're not looking under here. Uh, probably wind up here. Go shake the steering wheel. Let me turn the flash on. All right. Which one do you think it is? Oh. Do it again. Harder. Okay, so you see that? Okay, not so hard. Yeah, just like that. The bushing feels good, probably. I mean, it's been replaced. It's got adjustable track bar on it, but. Let's look around at all the components. Keep doing it. Yeah, well, my orbit's fired. Look back. Look back. That one's tight. That one's tight. It's a little sloppy up here. The inner tie rod. Why is it showing white? Man, I don't think I like this. There you go. Keep going. 